The graphs below show the test grades of the, student in, in, of the students in Dexter's class. The first graph shows the relationship between test grades and the amount of time the student spent studying. So this is study time on this axis, and this is the test grade on this axis. And the second graph shows the relationship between test grades and shoe size. So shoe size on this axis, and then test grade. Choose the best description of the relationship between the graphs. So first let's just, before even looking at these, let's just look at these. Let's just look at the, before looking at the, at the explanations, let's, let's look at the actual graphs. So this one on the left right over here, it looks like there is a positive, a, a positive linear relationship right over here. I could almost fit a line that would go just like that. And it makes sense that there would be, that the more, time that you spend studying that the better score that you would get. Now there, for a certain amount of time studying, some people might do better than others, but it does seem like there's this relationship. Here, it doesn't seem like there's really much of a relationship. You see, you see the shoe sizes. For a given shoe size, some people do not so well, and some people do very well. For some, some people, someone with a size 10 and a half, it looks like, is that a yeah, size 10 and a half? Someone, it looks like they flunked the exam. Someone else looks like they got a A minus or a B plus on the exam. And it really would be hard to somehow fit a line here. No matter, no matter how you draw a line, it doesn't seem like it would really fit some type of a, this, these dots don't seem to form a trend. So let's see which of these choices apply. There's a negative linear relationship between study time and score. Now that's not true. It looks like there's a positive a positive linear relationship. The more you study, the better your score would be. A negative linear relationship would trend downwards like that. There is a nonlinear relationship between study time and score, and a negative linear relationship between shoe size and score. Well, that doesn't seem right either. A nonlinear relationship, you would it would not be easy to fit a line to it. And this one seems like a line would be very reasonable. And there isn't any type of, it doesn't seem like there's any type of relationship between shoe size and score. So I wouldn't pick this one either. There is a positive linear relationship between study time and score, that's right, and no relationship between shoe size and score. Well, I'm gonna go with that one. Both graphs show positive linear trends of approximately equal strength. No, not at all. This one doesn't show a linear relationship of really any strength. 